What's up, everybody? I'm the Goji Ryu Philosopher, and this isn't my usual upload time or my usual format of video. Usually, I'm working off of a script, and right now, I don't have anything in front of me. Uh, I mean, except for my camera and microphone and the computer that I record into. <laughs> Since we're finally through summer and into the beginning of fall, I'm going back to university, and I've just completed my first week of classes. Now, because of the ongoing coronavirus situation, I'm not able to physically return to my university, but we still have classes, and it still is an incredibly intense workload. So, I'm probably not going to be able to record, edit, and upload with the same frequency that I have been over this summer. However, just because I'm not going to be as able to research and upload videos doesn't mean that I'm not going to still be producing videos, and doesn't mean that I want to stop thinking way too hard about karate and philosophy and the ways in which those things intersect. Some of the classes I'm taking are actually probably going to open up new avenues of exploration for me. Particularly interesting is the class that I'm taking on classical Japanese, or bungo, the style that was used primarily up to and until 1950s by literary writers and by historical recorders. For that reason, I actually had to get this gigantic textbook, and it's going to be incredibly fun and also incredibly difficult to get through, but hopefully by the time I've gotten through this semester, I'll be at least slightly more able to approach some older historical records that haven't been properly translated yet which I find really exciting. Additionally, a lot of my time is going to be spent trying to manage my school's Goji Ryu Karate Club, which is attempting to continue to hold virtual practices throughout this time. I'm actually going to be stepping up and leading most of those classes, which is incredibly daunting. I mentioned before that I wouldn't consider myself ready to be any sort of sensei or teacher, but because of the situation with this ongoing pandemic, it really seems that the club has no choice um, if it's going to continue to hold instruction, than to have me do it, since I can afford to do it for free as kind of a labor of love. Fortunately, I've learned from a lot of very good teachers, and I've also done a lot of study on pedagogy, which is the science of teaching, and I hope that that will allow me to at least provide some interesting practices to work along with with some of my friends. So this video is just going to be an explanation of how things are going to look for the next few months, and a little bit of a preview of what I intend to cover pretty soon. Before school started, I'd already managed to film and begin editing two really big projects that I have, one analyzing the phrase karate ni sente nashi, and one which is a review of pretty much the best written depiction of karate in any format, uh, a novel that I very much enjoy, and I hope that you all read when I come out with that. However, those videos are somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 minutes each, and editing them has been very difficult, especially balancing it with all the new reading that I have to do. So I'm also going to bring back the History of Goju Ryu series, starting off with a look into Shinzato Jinan, the student of Miyagi's who many people have speculated would have been his successor, who died in the Second World War. I'm also continually looking out for new ideas for interesting videos, and I have a couple of ideas kicking around in the back of my mind that are going to take a lot of writing and editing, but I think that you guys will very much enjoy when I get around to it. Because I'm not able to go back to my college, I may find myself soon in the situation where I can actually resume practice at the dojo that has been my home since I was very young and just beginning karate. When that dojo is allowed to open, I'm going to see if I can go by and train with them, and catch up with some of the people who made me into the karateka that I am today, as well as trade ideas with some people who have known me since I was very small. I've usually been able to resume training with this dojo over summer and winter breaks when I've been back home. However, this recent long break has been an exception since most places, and especially most dojos, which require physical contact, have been closed. Hopefully I'll have a chance to demonstrate how much I've been able to study on my own and while I've been at college, and learn some new things that I never got a chance to fully explore when I was a little bit younger. But whatever this period brings, I hope that you guys will stay with me as I work to put out the best videos possible. I will still try and make one video per week to upload on Saturdays, but there may be some weeks that that's just not doable, so please bear with me if that ends up being the case. I'd also like to say a thank you to the surprisingly large number of people who have subscribed to this channel since I started making videos more regularly over the summer. This channel has grown from a very small project with only a handful of videos on it to a decently sized community with, at time of recording, 286 subscribers and I couldn't be happier that each and every one of you is choosing to spend some of your day listening to me tell you about 
karate concepts and philosophy. I hope that I'll be able to continue to make thoughtful and interesting content and to fill a niche that doesn't really exist within the karate YouTube community of someone who does more video essay style deep dives into topics when research allows. If you're somehow watching this video and you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and I promise that you'll be rewarded with a lot of interesting and thought-provoking videos on some topics that rarely get covered in martial arts YouTube. Additionally, if you have any topics that you'd like me to cover or that you'd like to hear my opinion about, please comment them below and I'll be sure to read all of those comments as soon as I have free time from homework. I've been the Gojiru Philosopher and thanks for sticking with me.